Hey everyone, it's Jason Dunn here from Windows Phone Thoughts and uh, I'm back for another Windows Phone video. This time I want to take a look at sort of a, a more holistic device experience. I've now uh, synchronized the phone with my um, hosted exchange server. I've uh, synchronized it with uh, Facebook and Windows Live and so this is kind of basically everything that I would normally do. Although the one thing I haven't done yet is uh, synchronize it with the uh, desktop Zoom software, so there's no you know photos or music on it, but that'll be uh, yet another video. So I'm just gonna go ahead. I'm just gonna press one of the buttons on the front here. We'll power it up. Here's one of the first things. Uh, this is actually the start screen uh, that you see, uh, and it's very similar to uh, the Zoom software. You unlock it by by pushing up. I want to show you a couple quick things though here. So first of all, uh, it shows me my uh, signal strength. It shows me that I'm on a 3G network. It shows me that I'm actually connected to Wi-Fi right now. It shows me my battery life. Then right down here, of course, it has the uh, home screen, the uh, desktop, sorry, the lock screen wallpaper. That's what you see here. It shows me uh, the current time. It shows me the date, and it shows me what my next uh, appointment is. And then it also shows me that I have two email messages there. Oops, it turned off. So really nice. Immediately when you turn this on, you get instant information. You basically, you know, you know where you're supposed to be next. I really like that. There's lots of other phones out there that uh, do not <laughs> do not do that, shall we say. All right. So here's a couple of um, interesting things to take note of. Um, I guess the first is I'll show you um, the calendar. Um, and so this is basically what the calendar uh, looks like. You have uh, agenda view, uh, and uh, day view. Now I think down here, yeah, so there's uh, there's month view. And what's kind of interesting is that it's, imp it's impossible to make out, but it actually shows you the real text um, that you, oops, now I backed all the way out of it. It, it shows you the text in month view. Uh, it's so small, you really can't make that out. So I don't know if that's essentially a move where, uh, you know, on, on, a, on a phone with a, with a bigger screen and maybe down the road potentially higher resolution, that these little tiny icons will actually be readable. But on this on this resolution, which is uh, WVGA uh, 800 by 480, the screen is not readable. So we'll just kind of go go back here. Um, and again, yeah, it's it's very uh, it's 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 very kind of bare bones, but um, it works. You know, um, I can go into here. I can see that you know somebody, some couple of friends of mine were watching the UFC event here. You know, it shows me it shows me the notes for the calendars. It shows me um, you know which of my friends uh, accepted. It shows me the details. Yeah, so it's basic, but I think it works really well. I'll I'll see you know if there's anything uh, missing, kind of long term, I guess. Um, if you go in here into people, now I'm not too sure if this will have synchronized down. There we go. So I created a fake little contact named Anthony Appleby. So here is a fake contact with a bunch of fake info, but I wanted you to actually see what contacts look like. So if I want to call this guy on his mobile, I can go ahead and call him. I'm going to end the call because that's a bogus area code. I can uh, text him. So if I go ahead and I, I start a text, I can I can type a text in here and, and it will go to the fake fake guy. Uh, I can call home, I can call work, I can send them an email. If I, if, if I click on send email here, it automatically opens up an email and Outlook. Actually, it's asking me uh, where I want to send it from. Now right now, so this is what I would call a bit of a design flaw. Right now, there's only one email account added. So if there's only Outlook, why even ask me as a user which one I want to use? If there's only one, this is the only one I can use. However, when there are multiple choices, it does make sense to ask the user where, it, where it's going to be coming from. So. There we go. So uh, this is what an act. This is what an email looks like. So as you can see, it's it's very uh, you know kind of bare bones. If I want to, I can rotate it over here, and uh, the uh, the uh, keyboard will pop up here. And like I mentioned, the keyboard actually works works quite well. Um, although it's kind of hard to uh, do a video and type at the same time. But uh, so far, I, I rate this keyboard as a, as maybe about about eighty percent as good as the iPhones is uh, and the iPod Touch. But given a little bit of time, who knows? Maybe it will even be a little bit better. So I'm going to back out of this. Oh, actually, it's asking me what I want to do with the message. So I'll just say discard. We're going to go back. Um, uh, the the work address. So if, if 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 I click on map work address, it'll actually load up Bing, and Bing will um, 
uh, will automatically look for this. Uh, now it's interesting, right? It's looking for the area code because I gave it 90852, which is one of the few uh, area codes in the United States that I know. Um, but of course, 123 Nowhere Street doesn't actually exist. So of course, it's not going to be able to find it. But as you can tell, the concept of being able to uh, see an address, be able to tap on it with one tap and get you know directions on how to get there, that's fantastic, right? That's really, really nice. You can check on the... Um, Click on an URL in a contact and it'll automatically load it in the uh, browser. So this is at Applebee's. Um, my fake friend Anthony Applebee's works at Applebee's because he has the same last name as the company and so he thought that would be really cool. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, so this is the browser. Like I said, it does not support Flash out of the box. Um, it seems like it's a fairly, it seems like it's a fairly capable browser. I mean, it renders this page with uh, with decent fidelity. It, it has the whole, you know, pinch and zoom, uh, double tap to zoom, sort of that, that familiar uh, sense of control uh, that we are um, used to. I have heard a few people say that the browser doesn't quite measure up to WebKit based browsers, you know, like on the iPhone or on most Android phones. Um, and in fact, as you can tell here, it's not loading whatever was supposed to be in the middle here. I don't know if it was supposed to be flash there's no broken icon to indicate that it was flash but whatever it was it's not actually working so yeah we'll just go back uh, we'll go back again we'll go back into the contact you can see how fluid that was right I was just pressing this button a couple times and it was going and going and going important to mention which I forgot to mention earlier is all Windows Phone 7 phones God, that's so awkward. All Windows Phone 7 devices come with built-in uh, 3D acceleration, so it's actually part of the Chassis 1 hardware spec, so that means that all of them should be quite capable at gaming and uh, very snappy when you're um, kind of using it day-to-day. -day. Uh, down here, there are notes. It's kind of interesting. So right now, it just says, um, it has the note that I put in. I presumably, if there's a lot of notes, you'd be able to go down and see everything. You can uh, pin the contact to your home screen, which, which is kind of interesting. So uh, if it is a person that you um, uh, you know communicate with a lot, you can pin them to the home screen and then, you know boom, that's kind of it. Then you tap on them and you can immediately access all their info. So Microsoft has made it really, really fast to be able to um, you know, find what you're looking for. If it's a person, get in and get out kind of immediately. And what's kind of interesting here, uh, I'm going to do, let me see here. I'm going to, I'm actually going to go back into people. Um, as you can see, there's a whole bunch of people right here. I'm going to do a quick search and I'll show you how this works. Basically, if I'm looking for my wife, my wife's, wife's name is Ashley. So if I click on her name here, it'll, it'll have her profile and a whole bunch of info. What I'm going to do is I'm going to um, go ahead and pin this to the home screen. And what's kind of neat is that now there she is and there she is with my son. When I click on that and I click on what's new, it'll automatically pull in her Facebook uh, status update. So um, again, this is just a really neat way to connect with the person and then you connect with uh, whatever, um, whatever that person is doing. You know, So this is everything that's on the Facebook wall. Um, I can get older posts, I can comment, I can, um, you know, like a post, I can do kind of whatever I want. And it's really fast, really efficient, really, really fluid. Yeah, so pretty cool. So that is uh, basically the contacts app. Um, Outlook, I'm just going to open up Outlook here quickly. I'm going to do a, uh, a synchronization uh, and it's going to pull down um, basically any of any of my my new email and this is essentially what the uh, what the email client looks like so I'm going to open up an HTML email here um, by default it does not download pictures which I think is actually pretty smart so I'm going to go ahead and tell it to download pictures and so this is the Windows Phone Thoughts newsletter so this is a full HTML newsletter um, it renders it actually with with excellent fidelity I mean this 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 looks quite good um, whoa, we got some pretty huge graphics in here. Kind of goofy, actually. Okay, there we go. It wouldn't let me go down there. It might just be because this email is uh, really, really big. But uh, yeah, there you go. Um, you can double tap to kind of do like a fit to screen thing. So yeah, in terms of HTML email, it works pretty good. Some people have commented um, 
they basically uh, have, have said that there's there's a few things on here um, that uh, because of the text size, some people have commented that there's a lot of sort of wasted space here and you can only see four or five emails at a time. I personally think it's great because what I think is it means it's really easy to find your email uh, and to be able to see your email really quick and easily. So I'm gonna wrap up this segment of the video here. I'm gonna do another one do, showing you synchronization, but I don't want, I want these all to kind of fit in around the 10 minute mark, no more. So so this has been Jason Dunn from Windows Phone Thoughts. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos.